How's it going at home, wherever you are? My name is Turbot Films, and welcome to Project Zomboid. So, this is a survival game, and if you know, a survival game with a zombie apocalypse style kind of thing. Say, if you ever played, like, uh, I don't know, Don't Starve, I did that earlier, or way back, uh, not way back, but a bit back, and uh, it's like this, but uh, zombies. Ooh, scary. Not really, uh, these are the options, not so much. Uh, this is an alpha game at the moment, so it's not really done. You might expect. Look at that, I'm dead. Anyways, we're gonna make a new one. We're gonna start in... Uh, Maldrow. I think that's how to pronounce it. I'm not sure, I know it's a real town, so sorry if you live there. Can't really do too much about that. Anyways, we're gonna call this save. Hello, bunny. Because why not? I don't know why. Anyways. We're apparently gonna play as Aaron Moore. Aaron Moore. He is this guy up here. He has green clothes on him. So, that's good. Green clothes are good. He has a very short hairstyle. So, that's okay. Nothing to tag on that. Not really. But, right. So, anyways. You're gonna start by making characters. Characters. I'm gonna go off camera a bit and press start on the timer here. Anyways. So, you can be a fire officer. And that changes his clothes, apparently. A police officer. A Park ranger, a construction worker, or a security guard. These are a bit different, uh, they really depends on what you want, uh, like in the traits. You can have negative and positive traits. You can see up here there are points to spend. For example, if I add clumsy here, I'd now have one point to spend, so I can add, I don't know, something that has one point, which is nothing, because uh, good traits are really, really annoying and hard to get. I don't know. Anyways, I can add like claustrophobic, I don't really like being inside, hard of hearing, uh, I really have a hard time hearing apparently, and eagle-eyed, that's a positive trait as you can see, the negative is 6. But anyways, I'm gonna play as a construction worker, because you get thick skin and handy, this is the only thing you get 2 on I think. Yes, it looks like it. Unless I want to be unemployed and then I get nothing. Now I have white clothes, I really are, he's dressing up. Now I have no shirt. So I guess I'll go with that. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna play as Aaron Moore. Aaron Moore play. Ooh. There's also some really creepy music in this, so I might turn it off. We'll see. I'll see if I can keep it up, but it kind of creeps me out at times. Also, I apparently have something in my nose. I'm apparently stuffed, I can hear now. Or I can feel that by speaking at the moment, so might have problems with that. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. So, anyways. Let's see if we can go into the game soon. Uh, this, this is basically a loading screen. But anyways, uh, as I said, this is a survival game. It has one world you can be in. One world, but the world is huge. I will link a map down below if you want to look at how big the thing is. It's extremely big. Uh, there's two entire cities. Ooh, look at my little house. Here, here man. Uh, there are some by survival guide inside the game so you can get more information on how to walk and stuff. But I already know. The basics, let's just say that, let's zoom in a bit. Right, so this is apparently my house. There's a zombie out there, as you can see. Those are the zombies. Those are really normal zombies. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, which I am, I'm a great fan of that, it's a great series. Um, the zombies aren't in like that. They are not running, they are not like The, wa uh, the Walking Dead. Uh, they are not like, ooh, nice, great. Like, a, let's say, for example, the Left 4 Dead zombies who run everywhere. Though, though these zombies are not like those. Oh, hello, my bedroom. Ooh, I got rounds. Great. Oh, I get the vest. I should probably wear that. Put on. Right. Now you can see I'm wearing a pink vest. Because why not? You can also put down on skirts and stuff if you want. Even as a guy. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right. Bathroom. No cabinets in here. Alright, let's see. Ooh, there's a bookshelf down here. I don't seem to be able to reach it. Yeah, I can. Right, there's no books, because I don't read. I don't know, or Aaron doesn't read. I don't really. Belt, no blues, and no, there's... Alright. So I'm looking for a bag. Ooh, hello, shelves. Ooh, nails, uh, that doesn't help. Alright, so I got this knife. Let's equip that. You can do that by right-clicking the equipment primary. Right, I got a knife. Now we need to find a bag. That's like our... Main priority, alright. So there's a zombie up there. Let's go back and see if we can go into the neighboring houses. Here, as we can see, there's oh, there's another house down there. That's great. 
right so there's a bit of a different types of breaking you can smash windows like you can basically go up to them and you smash them with a baseball bat or a knife I think you can smash them with a knife Ooh. right and there seems to be someone inside trying to get at me that's great oh there's someone there right might be someone in those yep there is oh great there's a thumb in there uh, let's yeah, as you can see, I can open it with it if I press E, the button E, I can start trying to pry the window open, which I did. Right, so now the zombie's gonna climb out and... Oh, there were two of them. Great. Stab. Right, I stab one of them. They are kinda glitched. Seems like. Right, let's just stab them. Like crazy. Right, I got one of them. That one is climbing in again. Kinda glitched. So you might notice. Come on. I really have to stab you like a crazy man, don't I? There we go, we got them. Right, so I can loot them. They have shoes, skirts, and vests on them, sounds like. I got something on my... I think that was my phone? Or oh, there was my phone. Something sounded, alright. Anyways, now we're in Thor's. Let's see, what do you guys have here? You have flour, TV dinners. Ooh, chips and cereals and dry ramen noodles. I should probably grab these. So, you need to get food and water. That's the big thing with this. You need to keep yourself fed and uh, basically not to go. Right, so steak, fresh peas, orange soda could be good to have. So you see up here also the numbers here. They're on my weight, how much I can carry. I can carry eight. I have now carry I'm now carrying three out of eight. Which is basically what I need a bag for, so I can carry more. Let's see nothing in there, pants and wet, nothing that will help me. Hello. Alright, there's no one in here. Great. Alright, nothing in there. That doesn't really help, I need something. Anyway, pillows, pillows? Where do you have pillows the, out there? It's kind of odd. Right, I can't go past here because I can't. Well, the, the toilet is in my way. Close the door and let's leave this house. There's nothing for me to win. Oh, great, there's another zombie in there. Right, so those are crawlers. They are on the ground. Ooh, a box. Newspapers. There's nothing in the box. Do you have anything on you? You have a magazine. Hmm, I should probably grab these. Uh, you're actually gonna get bored in this game. Not you playing, but the character will get bored, which is a pretty odd trait to have, but it's actually kind of nice. Because if you're doing nothing, just waiting the out, waiting the apocalypse out, you will not go very far because you will get bored, and I don't know, stab yourself. <laughs> I don't really know. All right, let's check if this door is open. Yes, it is. All right, let's go and open it. You can see that by right-clicking on the doors if they're open or not. It's kind of odd. You can also go and press E on them and. Just touch them and see if they're open or not, which is pretty normal, I guess. Not that you would go into your neighboring houses and start going at the doors, I don't know. <laughs> That's nothing you should probably do, but I guess you can if you want. I'm also right-clicking, as you can see right now, I have my knife in there. Look at me, I'm gonna stab someone. But that makes me sneak, so sneaking will make the zombies hear me less. Or the shambling guys, the dead people, I don't know what to call them. We might come up with that, I don't know. Alright, so now you can see I have... Ooh, there's more over there, great. Also you can see, the, the I can't see them behind me, but I now I can see them. So I li literally have to do this to see them all. Which is annoying. Or not annoying, it's a pretty awesome feature, but it can be annoying at times. Because you can literally be... As you can see, there are a lot of dead people there. Alright, so I should probably see if I can get in the house. Oh, the music scared me. It scared me! No! Disturb you, zombie. Stab you. Right, apparently I can't loot you. Now there we go. Yes, a normal hiking back. Alright, so equip on your back. Alright, so now you can see I have another thing here. I can now carry 0 out of 20, or I'm carrying that now in this bag. Which will reduce my weight and I can carry more stuff. Without like having to fight. Let's see if this door is open. Nope. Alright, there's some since I know. Let's see if we can pry it open. Alright, so as you can see, the moods up here are I'm slightly thirsty. I need to get some water. Or my orange soda, alright. Nothing is moving around. So there are also house alarms, so you need to be careful about that. So you can actually get quite annoyed by house alarms. Since they are made to be annoying in this game, it seems like. Or if they are. Alright, so we have a plastic bag. I can actually equip that my, as my secondary. And now I can carry even more stuff. Now I can have the plastic bag here as well. So now I can carry a lot of stuff, which is great. Alright, so we have some more orange soda. I should probably put that in my plastic bag. 
right uh, i should probably take a drink you can just right click and drink from the this thing i can't remember the name of it because that's how i am right nothing in the bathroom and let's see very small bedroom nine millimeter round a school bag should probably carry that in my hand instead of this thing all right so let's equip all right let's put this in the, this bag instead and let's see how we're doing this all right you go to main inventory and plastic bag and uh, drop i guess I can just do this also. Alright, and equip secondary at the school bag. Alright, here we go. Alright, great. So the time is now 14.50. I think a day is about, I don't know, half an hour or so. That's the, they are not too long. And about 8 o'clock, we should probably go to sleep to see when I wake up kind of early. Not too late. Alright, so I need to find a house to make my night in. I should probably stay in this one I was in already. Since it's unlocked and there's no house alarm on it, that's probably easier for me to do. Let's, let's just jump through the window, I guess. Right. Let's see, there was a bed in here. There are shares, you can sleep in shares. Let's see if I if I manage to click on it. There you go. No problem there. And I still want to be sneaking. There are zombies outside. I don't really want to get them on my face. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. I can apparently fill the bowl from the toilet. I don't really want to do that. That's nothing I want to do. Let's see. Alright, close the door. Open the bedroom door. Alright, food. How was the food? Do we have some steaks, right? No? What's that in here? I don't remember. Now we have corn and peas. I guess that works. Uh, it's not the best, but it works. It should work fine. As you can see also, I can see through windows. And you can... Oh, I'm burping. I'm really sorry about that. But you can see through windows. This guy right here is, is really, really annoying. He's kind of looking at me. So, uh, there are curtains, of course, because you can close them. And you can also put down sheets, bed sheets, and... Oh, I'm getting hungry. should probably eat something. Let's see if we can eat them. Peas. Right, peas. Yeah, there you go. Eat. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, great. Ooh. What's that? Knocking the door. I can't really hear the music extremely loud in this game. Let's check, check if there's an option for music. No. No. Uh, also, there are supposed to be NPCs in the in the future they're not in the yet but that seems like a fun thing uh, with I don't know high quality survival groups and stuff like that this can be an incredible game so let's fast forward the time a bit so we can actually get to bed at 8 o'clock and uh, as you see it takes forever we can we click that I think that button makes it go extremely fast all right so now I should probably just go out here take a sip of water and then go to bed Drink. As you guys, as you can see, this guy's still standing at you. Does not want to go away. Let's close the door and go to sleep. Yes. All right. Now you can see the time is taken away, and I'm sleeping and getting arrested, and are ready for the fights of tomorrow. But uh, it's as you can see, it's just a black screen at the moment. There's nothing to watch it really, except the clock at the corner, because that's the most thing. All right. So the, the time is 3:50. Not the greatest time uh, to wake up entirely. Alright, alright, as you can see here, I'm getting bored. And hungry, great. Alright, so I guess I brought a magazine for a reason. Read. Reading magazine. Alright, so now I'm not bored anymore. Alright, let's open the door. This guy is still standing out there. It's really annoying, because he might see me. And if he does, he will come for me. And eat my face off. It's really worrying. Alright, so, I usually wait about 7 o'clock. That's when uh, the sun is actually starting to come out a bit. Really depends on the time of year we're in, and we are in August at the moment, I think. Yeah, I can't really see my uh, dick story. Uh, uh, the right, it's not really early or light out. That guy is moving. All right, so you can see they are kind of glitched at times, and it seems like they're moving, but they're standing completely still. That's nothing no or out of the normal, out of the ordinary. It's probably supposed to be called, but I can't really speak, which is nothing new. Right, so they can be doing that, that's a bug, uh, not so much we can do about that. But uh, they will walk, they'll, they'll, let's just say they're training. They're trying to get muscles in their legs, so they're moving into place. That guy too. At times they can look like they're running, which they're not. So you should not worry about it. God save us, it says on that sign. Alright, you should not come closer. So the knife, if you're using it correctly, is an insta-kill weapon, because you can stab them in the face or the head right through the brain oh there's a church here huh interesting 
but uh, let's see what they have to offer us in the church. I don't know, probably dead people? I don't know, that's probably, no, that's a graveyard. I think they're one of those in the game too, but the zombies really doesn't spawn from graveyards. The door is locked in the church, that's odd. Are there dead people inside? They're not, there's a lot of blood, but I can't see the dead people. Let's see if we can open the window. Open the window, hopefully there's no house alarm on the church. That seems like an odd thing, but there can be. Right, let's look around. So the house alarm, it's kind of slow. You can actually look around and if zombies are moving towards you, you can know you have actually activated the house alarm before it's actually sounding, which is kind of cool. Cool or bugged, I guess. Alright, there's anything of use in here. Hello? No? No priest zombie? Huh. Right, there seems to be nothing inside the church. Unless there's something in the... This thing, over here. Which there apparently are not, because I think you cannot store stuff in there. I don't know, that's what priest then says. I don't really go to church, I don't know. I don't know these things. Alright, let's go outdoors and see for some base. No, alright, so let's go to this little house. It's a building, I guess it is, uh, next door and see what they have. Before we do anything else, I'm actually gonna have to end this when I get inside this building. So, we're gonna start loading in the next episode. But I need to go through the window first. And the music is scaring me, and it's really loud. Should probably see what I can do about that. Alright, house alarm, house alarm. Nope, it does not seem like it. Alright, let's climb through. And climb the window. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm scared now. The music is scary. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like down if you did. Subscribe on the screen to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya then.